Okay, let's go in. As a grandfather, Governor Otter makes a point to take time out from the demands of public office and be outdoors with his grandson, J.C. And you look right over here. Yeah. There's some more. While Otter has spent a lifetime in the outdoors, showing J.C. what lay beyond his own backyard was a novel idea. I had to read a book before I really appreciated uh, what this place means not only to me but also to my grandkids. And it was a book called The Last Child in the Woods. And it was about, you know, kids that are maybe having a problem paying attention or in this modern age of all the technology and the rush, rush, hurry, hurry, don't wait for anything. The book investigates the risks children run not spending time outside and the benefits that come with being outside. What do you think ate that stump off right there? Life slows down out here. And life slows down to a pace that's understandable. And uh, that's one of the things that I've noticed with my grandkids, especially J.C., is that uh, he comes out here and life kind of slows down for him. He's part of a tree. Like many youngsters today, it's easy for J.C. to spend his free time indoors in front of a computer screen. A lot of people think that kids just automatically know how to go outside and run around and play. And to some extent, I think they do. I really think that kids have to be... They have to have that role model in their life and in order to fully understand what's out there and how to enjoy the outdoors and nature. Governor Otter hopes he can make this connection happen for his grandkids. And he asks questions about this deer trail or this mushroom or what is this and what is that. So it's a new experience, you know, in a way for both of us. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.